Hi for everyone, very happy to see you today. Today I make a video from a very interesting area. Today I am at my countryside with my amazing and lovely grandma. Actually I'm in the garden and um, I was so much inspired to make this video outside because I got to know that I have so many videos that I make inside that I told myself like stop it and just go and just do some beautiful video outside with the flowers that she, you know, made by herself. I will show you definitely all these all these flowers a little bit later. But this video I would like to um, you know to devote to the topic which concerns hobbies. Actually uh, hobbies that's something that um, you know I was thinking about this topic for a very long time that's a very uh, important topic for me because I always had different questions. You know, maybe sometimes we, maybe for someone of ours, it's very easy to find out what is their hobby, maybe. But for me, that has never been easy because I feel like I'm in a person who enjoys doing so many things, like, you know, enjoys trying so many things and I can never stop. So I, can, I could not define my huge hobbies, my huge passions for a very long period of time. But then finally I did it. So what questions I had actually concerning hobbies. I was, I was looking at other people and I was telling myself like, wow, this guy, for example. Yeah, we, we can compare ourselves sometimes with other people. It's okay. So I looked at some, uh, for example, a person who is very good at gymnastics and I was like wow he can be so good in gymnastics that's not even his job but it's his hobby and he can do it greatly so maybe that's hobby something that you can do very good then after some time I might see someone who is very good at drawing and I might tell wow this person is amazing so he can do it so good maybe my hobby is drawing maybe my hobby is this so I started to ask myself where I am strong you know, and that was actually the problem. I wanted, probably as being a bit maximalist, maximalist inside of myself, I was trying to find out what I can do like better than other people. And you know what? The years passed and I started to understand that hope it's not something that you can do very, very well, that to which you may devote so much time. That's fine if you do this hobby, like if you do it today, then you like stop doing it tomorrow, then you start to doing it like maybe in, I don't know, in one month and then you stop doing it maybe, you know, in two months. That's fine. That's actually very fine. I got to know that hobby, that's something that interests us, something that we would like to do because we feel like it's something that attracts our attention and you know I know also some people who has problems in finding their jobs I can understand them people might be so entangled in their own personalities they might feel as me for example that they have so many things to do they want to do so many things and they cannot define their like dream job by all that they want to do because they feel like wow how can I find this job if I like I don't know swimming drawing um, singing what is my job <laughs> well but finally they thankfully they they find these jobs they the jobs they want to do or yes unfortunately some don't but I do really feel like the most important thing is to try to define yourself, to try to look inside of your heart so that to understand what you do really like to do, what is a passion for you. That concerns hobbies, that concerns jobs, that concerns all our life. I got to know that no one should influence us. We should not even uh, look on other people and try to um, compare yourself with these people because Probably the person might be better than you in drawing, but you will really feel so good when you draw. And will you stop drawing if you know that the person is so great and you are not that great? Now you should not stop drawing. But you can turn it in your passion or you can turn it in your work, but forget about the person is better or not than you. 
just think about yourself, think about what you do really want to do. So about hobbies, one day I found out that my hobbies are, um, I love languages, it's true. The next hobby is I love speaking. I love de de uh, like interviews. I like um, writing speeches. I love uh, writing. Even st I started to write some books. I love writing, writing, writing. So hobby. I love, uh, for example, gymnastics. I cannot say that I'm the best in that, but I found out that I do really like to do this. So when I found out what I do really like to do, I started to feel this peace inside of me. And, um, you know, I feel like when we feel the peace inside of us, it's like our soul becomes so bright and people around us may feel it. That we may start to charge other people and we may also motivate other people to maybe to self-develop or, you know, sometimes we may give an idea to a person and he says, Yes, I love it too. Wow, I will start it too. So, the most important thing that I would like to say about this, well, making this video to you today is this topic. Hobby, job, do whatever you want. Fill it with your heart, with your soul, what you do really want to do. And if you are good only at one thing, that doesn't mean that, well, you might not have other hobbies. You might have as many hobbies as you want. You should not be perfect at all of them or at all. Just do them, do them, and your life will become amazing. Really, the topic hobby, it's kind of painful topic that I know people may have passion. What is my passion? Who am I? What can I do? Why I'm not the best? Stop, stop asking yourself this question. Really try to feel yourself, feel like your soul, your heart, and you will definitely find the way. So as I've just told you now, wow, now I'm in the garden of my amazing grandma and I will show you the flowers that she makes by herself. She's 85 and she does this all by herself, really. If she was 20 years younger, we would have already organized a business with her, really. I'm, I'm sure I'm not 100%. Really, my best, best friend ever. And I devote this video to her with all my love. 